Load www.bridgehitmtd.co.uk Log in to your account. Add your VAT number. Make sure this VAT number is correct. Now click the Save VAT Registration button. The next step is to link your HMRC account to Bridget MTD. You will need your Government Gateway login details to complete this step. We nearly ready to begin filing our VAT return. First let's purchase some credits. On the top right corner, click VAT return credits. Enter your payment details and complete the purchase. You have now added credits to your account. Let's download the Excel VAT filing sheet and submit the VAT return. Click the free MTD sheet download link. Locate the downloaded file and move it to your documents or your desktop. Right-click the downloaded file and select Properties. Check the box which says Unblock and then click Apply followed by the OK button. Now double-click the file to open it up. Now click the Enable button to enable the macros. Click Yes on the security warning. We're all set up and ready to file out that return. Let's start by entering the company name, VAT return number and email address. Then add the period start and end date. This is for your own reference, so you know what period you are doing the VAT returns for. Once that is done we can start filling in the 9 boxes with the figures. I am getting the figures from another spreadsheet by using equals. Once you have filled in the 9 boxes, click the tick box, I hereby declare that the information provided is true and correct. Then click, file that return, and select OK when the message box appears. This will open a web browser, make sure you are logged into Bridget MTD. The page that appears will show you what you are submitting to HMRC. Recheck your figures and make sure the data is correct. Make sure you have select the correct VAT obligation from the drop-down list. The last step is to scroll down and click the green confirm button. This will submit your VAT return to HMRC. You will receive an email with a PDF copy of the data you provided to Bridget MTD. The file will also contain a bundle number which is your reference number that is retrieved from HMRC. This can also be downloaded from our website. We hope you enjoyed our guide. Thank you for watching.